Hey, what's up guys? I'm your host for the Ocala Arts and Entertainment Podcast and I'm hanging out here with my friend, Randy. And he does have a really interesting last name which I would like him to pronounce. It, it's Bakley. Oh! Yes. But, but you don't spell it that way. Yeah, that is what it is. So, Randy Bakley. Yes. That's beautiful. And you spell it B-A-E C H L L E E. You got it. Oh, <laughs> that's beautiful. So my friend here, I met Randy sometime in Ocala, um, playing his tenor pan, and um, Randy was such a nice person to allow me to play his instrument as well. Um, so Randy plays around Ocala. Uh, but before we step into the uh, steel pan world of Randy, let's talk to Randy a little bit about where is he coming from? Are you Ocalan born? No, no. I come from the islands. Oh! Yeah. Off the, the coast the, of Chicago. The bad pipes? Off, <laughs> off, off of sh Chicago. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. I see. So, you're coming from she uh, Chicago? Yeah. And then I moved to South Florida grew up there I see yeah. so Randy tell us I mean what is interesting is I mean you play you should hear Randy on tenor pan how he plays so to get to that point I mean so you are in South Florida yeah how what's happening for you to want to move towards learning steel bands well I'm a guitar player my whole life and I played in bands you okay. know rock and country bands oh and then i had an online music store for like 15 years wow and i used to get the little toy um pans from straight from trinidad oh, okay and before i would chip each one out i would kind of play touch with it. it a little bit yeah yeah and so, it kind of got me interested so let's back up a bit that's interesting randy because you said you are a guitar player yeah electric yeah, and, and acoustic. And acoustic. Yep. So you've been playing in bands. So you moved to Fl South Florida. Yeah. Are you playing guitar before you moved to South Florida? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then eventually you're going to start a music shop yep. in South Florida. In, in Ocala. So the music yeah. shop. Oh. Uh, online. Okay. Like. okay, so it's an online shop. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. So... You are playing. What What is the name of some of those bands you played in? Uh, Trick Rider was okay, one of Trick them. Rider. Harvest Hill. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mostly in South Florida. I see. So you're getting ready to wrap up your music performances in South Florida to come to Ocala. Yeah. Why is that? Is it, is it no gigs? What, uh, what's happening? No, nah, my brothers lived here, so okay. Okay. wanted to move closer to family. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. So you started this online store. What inspired that store to come into play? Um, just the internet was starting to boom. It was around okay. Uh, 2000. Okay, all right. And I thought, it, I, I started out selling antiques. Okay. And then um, got into the selling music, you know. Did someone maybe say to you, hey, you know, this might be a good idea no, you no start, just, this is an idea of yours yeah yeah okay so antiques turned into music and what what, what would have been the f kind of instruments you started selling um guitars uh violins a lot okay. of violins cellos right and then eventually <clears throat> i guess the uh miniature steel pan yeah, yeah and how did that side of it come about to include that in the store i was just doing research Right. And then saw like ah oh, people were selling those and oh okay okay yep. and so you began to order them did they yep. come from Trinidad yeah when you ordered okay yep. and of course as you said the miniature steel pan is coming in and you giving yeah. it a little test yeah yeah okay <laughs> testing out the merchandise yeah yeah beautiful and as you start doing that. It's What's like, hey, I, I can play a song. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you, yeah. wait a minute. And you know you have a limited amount of notes. Yes, yeah. yes. So, 
at some point, what happened for you to decide that you wanted to grow to playing the bigger size steel pan instrument? Well, um, it, after I closed the, mu the music store, right. I started working at Advent Health. And okay. a friend of mine, <clears throat> he wanted to buy one of those, um, like the upside down steel pan. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't remember the name of them. You drum. play them. The, yes. yeah. yeah. Right. And I, then I thought, hey, why don't I get a steel drum? You the know? real thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it kind of, you know, sparked, sparked the idea again in my mind. Yeah. So did he go ahead to buy that? No, he didn't. Okay, so yep. did he get a, a steel drum as well? No, or? no. But oh. he's a he's a percussionist. Oh, he yeah. plays percussion. Yeah. So you are entering into buying a tenor. Yeah. So how did you? Is it coming from Trinidad or? No, it came from Orlando. So yeah. how did you come about finding this instrument in um, Orlando? Just kind of Google. Okay. Tom Reynolds made it. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. So you are getting in touch with Tom Reynolds for the yep. first time. And how do you know which steel pan instrument is the one? Well, I kind of did research. Right. But then I thought, well, if I play out, I'd, I'd rather move one pan than two. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. That is true. And what Randy is saying is the, the steel pan family, you have two steel pans that you can use as one instrument. You need both of them in order to make music. So Randy is saying it, it, it's easier to move around yeah. with one yeah. instead of two. So you are making connection with Tom. Yeah. And you did your research. You sound like a serious researcher, Randy. Yeah. Um, what type of tenor did you, because there are different kinds of, Tenor yeah, this was well. I kind of looked at the the standard that they're using most now. Right, that's right. Like the the C with the fifth. Okay, okay. Each note is a fifth. Right. Above the next. Right. So, what kind of cost are we talking about? You now entering into buying this? I I think he's selling them for around sixteen hundred right now. Okay, so yeah. sixteen hundred U.S. dollars. Yeah. You invested in getting this instrument did it come with mallets and a stand yes, yes. okay beautiful any um literature to no. read in, oh, okay no. okay so the mallets stand yep. any case no no case all right and it, it's a 26 inch pan <clears throat> and oh, okay um it's it's a little bit larger than your your than normal the regular one. drum and cases okay. are hard to come by Yes, so, to get for, yeah. for that size. So I ended up making one, me and my friend at work. Okay, so we're going to get to that. So you also great with your hands. You made, oh, there's a little kid running yep. by here. It was like bionic kid, real fast. Mm -hmm. So I, I, that sounds interesting. I want to get to that, how yep. you made the case for it. So this is the bigger drum. It's not the regular size. Correct drum that steel pan makers make all over the world and having the steel band orchestras why did you want it bigger or did he he, he just suggested that you know okay. that that's okay. his style of making them okay so he suggested that so yep. you are receiving your steel pan is it the chrome one in terms of the finish or the powder coated the, the one chrome yeah the real deal yeah and uh, is it a regular tenor without some of those tenors can come which we i think they call them bore yeah pans. It, it was a board with a with a hose around each note oh yeah and he is the one that Correct. recommended that yeah okay so you are receiving your bore low c tenor pan yes in the box yeah, I, actually, I went to pick it up. But, okay, yeah. so you go, you there, and he does have it on the stand set up, and you're looking at it, and you going to touch it, and yeah. So did you play a song that you learned from the small one? No, no, the, it, it, it was yeah. so many years different. <laughs> yeah. So you have to know, kind of start from scratch. Yeah, yeah. So how 
did you i mean because you play well i mean you really play well i imagine did you get any kind of lessons from anyone to, i mean did you decide well look if i am going to make this instrument a choice of instrument that i want to play and go and perform did you get any training from anyone or you self-taught? No, no, self-taught. Oh. Yeah. Well, you probably know there, there's not a lot of steel pan players here. Yes, in, in Ocala. Yeah. 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 And what about like online stuff? Did you check out any online? Um, no, there are teachers online. But right. If, if you watch a lot of the better players play, you, yeah. you can learn a lot from them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you began to learn some songs on it yep and uh, what are the choices of songs you like playing on the uh, tenor pan? well I, I play a variety i do some um tropical stuff some harry belafonte right um jimmy buffett right 50s and 60s yes. uh standard rock tunes yeah god rest his soul jimmy just left uh, recently yeah. you know yeah. um so how long now are you owning this instrument? What What is the time frame? Uh, about five years. About five years. Yep. Into, okay. Now, you said that you made a case for it. Yes. How did you go about um, having that done? I worked with a very talented carpenter at work. You okay. Know, okay. And, uh, okay. He came up with a lot of good ideas in that. Okay. So the material for the casing is it like you got like leather to make the case no or what, it, what it was of? um it was just kind of like um like they would put on a, a wall protection okay like on a wall right it's kind of like a diamond plate a thick plastic okay okay yep. so you did the building itself or your friend we both, both did but okay yeah okay all right, so you are practicing, learning these songs by these different artists, these different styles. Tell us about your first performance. How did that come about? Did someone hear you or what, what happened? No, just, just hustling for jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so you got into the hustle of, when did you know you were ready to step out? I, I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> but you jumped in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. So what? Could you remember your first performance and where it was? I think I played at the o Ocala Market. It was the first. That's the downtown market. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Every Saturday. So you, you, you went to the uh, downtown market, folks. Yes. Let them know that you had this skill. Yep. And they embraced. Yep. Okay, and that is when you made your foot. I guess yep. you started to make back what you invested. Oh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Did yep. you already cover yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> so the hustling has paid off. Yeah, yeah. So you started working downtown, being your first performance, and then I guess you will start moving around Ocala yeah. performing. Yeah. So tell us about that. I mean, Downtown market and what? People are coming up, you're giving cards out. Yeah. So you printed some business cards. Yeah. And what is on these cards for people to, how do they contact you? And uh, Pretty much just my cell number. Okay. Know. Yeah. Okay. And then I have my Facebook uh, page. Right. I'm working on a website, but right now it just goes right to uh, my Facebook page. And is it there, is there a name that people can look for you on Facebook? Yeah, Tr Tropic Steel is okay. the, the name I go by. So Tropic Steel. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. And we will get a photo of that card so you could see it coming up as we speak. Tropic Steel, so folks could find you on Facebook. Yeah. Okay. And a lot of times, like the restaurants will, will just put Randy B. Oh. Yeah. Or so, steel drummer. <laughs> oh, okay, so you have different titles. Yeah, 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 pending. yeah. So how? So you've been. So you are now more or less playing around in Ocala. Yeah. How often are we talking? Is it like a, um, every mostly on the weekends during the week? How? I keep pretty busy. 
at the weekends, and then I do um, a lot of uh, assisted living okay. facilities. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. So you are a professional steel pan soloist working the Ocala circuit. Correct. That's brilliant, Randy. Yep. Like I said, you know, I met Randy downtown when he was playing, and uh, let, let our viewers understand your setup. How did you, because you have a wonderful setup as well, mm -hmm. when you put your instrument up and you have, how did you go about that? Um, just research, I mean. So you check some other pan players out yeah, to see yeah. what they used? Yeah. Okay, so what uh, brand of speakers or microphone? Tur turbo no. sound is, okay. is what I use. Turbo sound. Sound. Yeah. And that's the, that's the monitor. No, that's a, I don't use a monitor. Yeah, okay. yeah, the speaker for the. Right. It's a, a PA built into the speaker. Okay, okay. Yeah. And it's, uh, I imagine it's a Bluetooth feature. Correct. Speaker. Yeah. So, how long did it take you to have your playlist organized and be able to now use this speaker? It was just. It's real. Real fast, yeah. It's One, very two, intuitive. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. So, you, you hear Randy saying if you want to find him to contract his services, Tropic Steel. Tropic Steel, and that's coming up on the screen as we speak. So, what's next, Randy? Um, you are a professional steel pan soloist. Mm -hmm. Do you see yourself maybe creating a steel band orchestra, getting involved in arranging, or maybe going to Trinidad to well, perform? And well, I know you're, you're starting the Ocala Steel Orchestra. Oh, which you is, know that? Yeah, which is <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, and you know, Randy is one of our supporters, both financially and as someone who is ready to step in to also, you know, volunteer his services. So we're looking forward to that. Yep. What about, have you ever been to Trinidad? No, I haven't. Have you thought of? I, I think about it, yeah, it would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. What I would like to see, Randy, is uh, you in Trinidad, especially around carnival season. Oh yeah. Where the Panorama Festival is oh, yeah. happening and you are playing with one of those steel bands. Oh, that'd be awesome, yeah. Um, I would suggest, you know, making that one of your bucket lists yeah. because you have the skill. Mm -hmm. you, you've been playing around and the thing about it is you hear Andy play. It's not that easy to just pick up these mallets and play the instrument because of how it is shaped. It, there is this concave shape, you know, it's like a bowl. And you have to strike these notes properly in order to get the real sound coming back at you. And Randy is versed at that. I would like to see that happen, Randy. Oh, that'd be awesome. So let, yeah. let, let's say 2024. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you're going to be playing in Ocala. Um, are you planning to have a band where you may have a drummer, bass player? I, I was thinking about that, but it's it's hard to play in a band, you mm. know, it, well, to, to get people on the same, thinking the same way. Right, right. I mean, of course, yes, it's much easier for yeah. you to talk to yourself and say, okay, time to get up and go dress <laughs> than to figure out yeah. if the bass player is going to show up on time. Yeah. Have you ever tried um, maybe trying to get musicians together or you just figure it's... It's just simpler to, to playing have solo. Randy yeah. B. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steel drummer. Yeah. Well, folks, um, trust me, it, it took me a long time to convince Randy yeah. that this was okay for him to come and do the Ocala Arts and Entertainment podcast. And uh, do you have any videos of yourself playing? Um, yeah, 
Okay, because yeah. what we'll do is try to see if we could get a video clip of Randy and share that with you and whatever little photos we could share as well. Okay, awesome. But thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yep. Like I said, it took me some time to get Ronnie to come on and 
you see how easy it is. I mean, he just <laughs> flew it. Okay. Thank you very much. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate you, yep. man. Okala Arts and Entertainment Podcast. Randy B. Tropic Steel or Steel Drummer. Peace out.